Hey there YouTube viewers, I am back yet again. Uh, this shall be tutorial number three uh, of many uh, dealing with PHP scripting and coding in the language of PHP. Uh, now in the f my first tutorial I believe I discussed uh, the very basics of how to, uh, starting tags and ending tags uh, and how to properly comment, block comment, and inline commenting. I showed you the inline comment, um, and in the second tutorial, I believe I showed you how to assign a variable, uh, whatever you'd like, and how to echo things out, like words, phrases, or even variables themselves, uh, and how to get user input. Uh, now, in this tutorial, it's you're not going to be learning too too much extra, uh, but. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how to do if statements, uh, if else statements, while statements, all those wonderful things. So um, I'm just going to delete this here because we're not going to be using that. We're going to be doing something completely different here. For the purpose, I'm just going to put if else statements, if else statements, uh, slash while statements. Uh, now the obviously this is uh, first. Uh, the first go at it, so it's going to be a fairly, really, really simplistic if statement and while statement. But uh, while if you're thinking of coding a big program for PHP, it's obviously going to get really complex. But uh, for if statements, say we have a variable, variable equal to five. Okay, just a random number five. You know what? Even better, just a random number. This is just a function on how to have a variable assign a random number. Random number between 0 and 10. The variable is equal to a random number between 0 and 10. Uh, so we're going to do an if statement. If variable, if variable, now when you want to tell PHP to check to see if something is equal to another thing, you don't put one plus sign. One plus sign means it's equal to that. Now to check to see if one thing is equal to the other, you put a duo, a double equal sign. Equal, equal. So you're going to check if variable is equal to, let's just pick a random number here, 4. If variable is equal to 4, and that is how you pretty much start off an if statement. You put if in brackets your, your condition. And then you put your brackets here to specify what's going to happen if variable is actually equal to 4. Uh, we're just going to put echo out 4. Uh, now I'm, I promised you I'll show you an if else statement. So, okay, so if variable is equal to 4, you're going to echo out 4. What if it's not 4? That's where the else comes into, into play. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're simply going to put else. Else. Or what you can do even is, you know, else if, and do a bunch of else if statements. If, else if, else if, else if, all that wonderful stuff. But I'm just going to show you an else statement. Else, you're going to echo out not for. Not for. There we go. Well, and that's, again, like I said, uh, nothing too complex for this tutorial, just taking it a little slower. Uh, th that would be an if else statement. So every time you're on the program, it's going to assign a variable, or sorry, it's going to assign the variable variable to a random number between 0 and 10, and then it's going to check the variable variable if it is equal to 4. Wow, say that five times really fast. Okay, so if it's 4, it's going to echo out 4, else it's going to echo out not 4. So 9 out of 10 times you run this program, it's going to echo this out. Statistically, doesn't always work out that way. But either way, uh, that's if else statements. Now on to wonderful while statements. I love these things because they're very, they're very flexible. You can do lots of things with them. Um, to start one off, uh, you simply do the same thing as an if statement. You just go while in brackets, and then you put your condition. While variable is. Uh, let's say greater than 5. While variable is greater than 5, 
and then you do your brackets, and that's your while statement. So, uh, once it is once variable is assigned a random number, uh, it go it'll go through the if else check, and it'll echo whatever the hell it wants to, depending on the variable, and then it's going to go through this while statement. Now, if variable is above five, it's going to do whatever I tell it to. So I'm going to say echo out blah. Okay, it's going to echo a blah because I want it to. All right, and then of course, it, uh, you don't want now. The bad thing about while statements is you're going to encounter, like no matter how many or how good you are at programming, if you are dealing with while statements you're always going to run into at least one infinite loop. What's an infinite loop? Well, say variable is assigned 6. It's going to go through here. Is it equal to 4? No. So it's going to echo out not 4. And then it's going to go into this while statement. While it is greater than 5, which it is, while 6 is greater than 5, you're going to echo a blah. So it would continuously echo a blah for eternity up until it runs out. the computer runs out of power or you turn off the program. That's infinite loop. Uh, so to get out of this, to make sure it's not going to be an infinite loop, we just simply want to change the variable. The variable is equal to random number again between 0 and 10. There we go. So now that fixes our uh, problem of infinite loops, so it's going to go into here. Uh, it, might, it might go for a little bit, but it's very unlikely. So we're going to save this. Uh, and we are going to go back out to our program here, which is right here. We're going to open it up in command prompt. We're oh, again, you're going to have to change your directory to wherever you s saved it to. I showed you that in tutorial two, I believe, one or two. No, one. Sorry. All right. So, uh, PHP hello world .php. And as you can see, it echoes out not 4, but it echoes out nothing. Now, why did it ne echo out nothing? Well, roll it back. Whatever, vari whatever variable was assigned, it must have been below 5, because it didn't do this. And there you go. And see? And it was even below... It was below 4, actually, because if it was 4, it would have echoed out that. So it had to be either 1, 2, or 3. And there you go, there's your simple if-else statements and while statements, and this is tutorial 3. Tutorial 4 will be up shortly. Um, I don't know when, but just keep an eye out for it. See you guys around.